Hey guys, it's Carissa and welcome to my YouTube channel, Inky Fairy Designs. Today is Stamp Stash Saturday and that's where I go into my stamp stash and pull out a stamp that I've never used before and get it on a card. So today I pulled out Art Impressions Latte Love. It is from the Girlfriends Collection and I really love these stamps. They're so cute. I love the kind of they're like older ladies and they're just doing lots of fun things this one shows them with their cups of coffee and they're just having a good time and so I went ahead I'm going to do some watercoloring today and I am stamping on the Canson Moulin de Roy watercolor paper it's the 140 pound hot press so it's a smoother paper and I use the VersaFine Onyx Black ink like I always do when I'm watercoloring and I pulled out my Jane Davenport watercolor collection. I have a combination of the brights and the neutrals in this palette all together, but I'm using mainly the sand, buff, and spice colors on the bottom there. And then also I have the Designs by Rachel Beth watercolors pulled out, and those you can find on Etsy. So I'm showing you here, I'm using my silver black velvet watercolor brushes and I use a round number two and number four mainly for this image because it's got more of a detail in it. And then I think I pull out the number six round to do the background. So I also have on my desk, um, always, always, always have two jars of water here and that's just because one will get really dirty um, before I'm done coloring and then I can rinse out my brush a second time in the clean water and I also have a paper towel on hand to dab off my brush if it gets too wet. So I don't know if I'm going to talk through this whole video today. I will see how it goes. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm doing at first but it's a longer video because this image took me almost an hour to color and so condensing it and then I did speed it up four times um, with the actual uh, time that it took me so um, I don't know what it is about these images but they intimidate me I love them a lot but then when I sit down to color them I think it's because there's always a group of people and then um, it's like coloring several different skin tones several different hair tones and then all of their clothing it's just it can get overwhelming and I think that's why this one has sat in my stash for so long um, so I tried to mix up their skin tones using those three colors that I mentioned earlier and I've got a pretty good mix um, between four of them I've got two that are one shade lighter than the other two and then I tried to also uh, do a little bit new coloring here on this one um, by adding some of the purple undertones for the shading that I like to do when I'm coloring with markers and I don't normally do that with watercoloring and for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to do it today and it, it really wasn't it didn't help the image at all and it just ended up making me kind of work it and rework it and just take more time than it really should have so I don't I don't know if I would do that again I might try it maybe on an image that has just like one single person and see if I can get some of that cool shading that I like to do for um, the shadows on a on the skin tone but uh, yeah I don't know <laughs> I'll have to decide that another time but I'm going in and just kind of mixing up those colors and, and adding it I did two at once and then I'm doing the other two here and um, yeah pretty much that's all I'm doing right now is coloring the skin and I hope you can see it and um, this is about as zoomed in as I can get so I'm hoping that you guys can see well what's going on. Here I'm adding the cheeks, which I did do from the Jane Davenport collection. I think I used a combination of like Ladybug and Best Friend. And then for their lips, I think I did Apple. Um, they have pretty bright red lips. Um, if I'm saying um a lot, it's because my husband is sitting behind me and I'm more nervous than usual. It's weird talking into an empty room as it is, but then it's even weirder when I'm talking into an empty room and somebody's listening to me. So that's, that's why I may just turn on the music <laughs> and let you guys see the coloring come together. But I think I, I really do love how this image came out. Um, 
it really looks the way that I love watercoloring to look and that is really loose really uh, just kind of freestyle and not perfect um, and that was one reason that I that is the main reason I love watercolor so much is because you don't have to be perfect for it and you don't you don't even, I don't even want to try to be perfect when I'm watercoloring. And so I leave a lot of white space when I do a first, the first coat on like their hair or their clothes. You'll see that I leave bits and pieces of it white and that just adds a natural highlight to it. And I don't think about which way the sun is coming in or the lighting is coming in on the image. I know some people will color that way. And that is mainly like from when I was coloring with Copic markers, you would always try to think about um, where is your light source coming from? And you'd want to make sure that all of your shading is on the left side if you're, right, you know, if the sun is coming on the right side. And with watercolors, I can, I just throw that all out the door and I just have fun coloring and I leave some white space that gives me a natural highlight. And then I will add some little darker spaces if the image has like some folds on it, like on the dress and the sweater you can see there's some not there's some folds there that the artist drew in and so I will make it darker around those areas but as far as like a light source I really don't think about that at all so I'm coming in and the colors that I'm using from the designs by Rachel Beth watercolors which I really really love right now um, are this color which is northern blueberry which is super cute. It's like a teal color. And then the other blues that I'm using are Blue Christmas. Um, I do some shading on the coffee mugs because they're white, but you want to do um, a little bit of shading just to give them uh, some depth. And I use frosted windows on that. Uh, sometimes I do like a gray shading on, my, on anything that's considered white. But since I used the gray that I was already going to use for this image on the scarf and her leggings, I decided to go with a cool shadow on the coffee mugs. And that's why I did that really light frosted windows blue. And then I used the same exact color to um, highlight the image and create like a background around them like they're standing outside on the sidewalk because that's exactly what the gray is called, city sidewalks. So those are the colors that I use and then also for the reds I use strawberry rhubarb and winterberry and then for the browns on the boots and all the shoes and her hair I use caramel pecan pie so I don't know if that helps you at all if you are looking for these colors and you want to know exactly what colors I used I will list them all down in the description box below as well as a link to where you can purchase the designs by Rachel uh, watercolors and the um, uh, Jane Davenport's watercolors you can pick up if you have a Michaels nearby you can pick those up there um, yeah I really like them I know I've used the Jane Davenport watercolors a lot when I'm watercoloring especially that neutral palette it's kind of my go-to because I don't really like mixing up my own skin tones and that really eliminated having to do that and so I was able to uh, watercolor images more, which is what I really like to do. I love watercolors right now, and that helped me to color the images that I like to color. So let's see, where am I? I am now adding some color to her scarf. And I'm just going to go ahead and put on some music, finish up coloring this image, and I'll come back at the end and wrap it up. I hope you're enjoying the uh, this series. It seems like you guys are with the comments that I've been getting about Stamp Stash Saturday. I like to see what you guys are doing too. So if you can find me on my Facebook page, I'll put a link there. You guys can share with me what you guys are doing with stamps that you haven't used ever or just haven't used in a while. So I'm going to put on some music and I'll be back at the end. <laughs>
also that's my favorite part always is adding that background shading it just really makes that image come alive pop off the page and that's pretty much completes the coloring for today's video I ended up taking that panel and die cutting it just with a simple stitched rectangle die and putting it on a, a craft cardstock after I added a stem, um, sentiment that says let's talk some frap that's actually from a my favorite things um, stamp set and the inside says sending you a latte birthday wishes I think it's so cute thanks again you guys for watching and Jessie is joining me again this Saturday with another stamp stash card that she has created on her YouTube channel so be sure to check that out I'll have a link here and um, at, in the description box below. Also, I'll have a link to some more watercoloring videos here and be sure to subscribe by clicking in the middle there. And I will see you guys next week for another Stamp Stash Saturday video. Bye.